The Healing Garden is where anybody can come. Anywhere, any place in this world you come from, you're welcome to this garden. This is to be a place of truth and reconciliation, a visible sign of our community's commitment to walk in right relations with First Nations, Métis, and Inuit peoples, and with all nations. Today is about honoring and recognizing the students who attended residential schools. The St. Albert area was home to two residential schools, the St. Albert Indian Residential School, Uvel, and the Edmonton Indian Residential School, Poundmaker. I would say to all teachers, to educators, to parents and stuff, that the children need to know the truth because you need to know where you come from to know where you're going. This is a permanent fixture where people will come and use it for history teachings and for teachings of what happened in our area. So I believe that this is gonna help bring the Aboriginal people and also the non-Aboriginal people together here to learn. Education is like our buffalo. We depended on the buffalo for survival, and now I think education is our survival again. So I really wanted a place for, was definitely for, for the residential schools, but healing in general. People from any walk of life that had experienced any kind of trauma. The committee was the, the driving force behind this. We had two years of really, um, it was a tough road at times. It really was an effort of love from all of us. It's a community, it's not a city project, it's not a church project, it's a community project, and community needs to take hold of it. To see this place, it took us two years to get here. It's been a long, long journey. When you see it on paper and then you see it in real, it's, it's, um, it's just so rewarding. It's, it's final, it's here, it's real. So we invite all families, any family, any background, anything, to come to our garden and come and join our circle. So from, from here on, we, we, we will walk together. We will walk beside each other. And we will help each other on this journey to our truth and reconciliation. And the day of reconciliation is when we, we, we stop saying, they, us, when we can say the word we, then that's reconciliation to me.